Hi guys, Miss Thorne here. I'm going to read you a story today. The story I'm going to read is called The Day the Crayons Quit. And the author of this story is Drew Daywood. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Hey Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out, colouring, fire engines, apples, strawberries and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to colour all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favourite crayon for grapes, dragons and wizard hats. But it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous colour goes outside the lines. If you don't start colouring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called Night Brown or Dark Tan because I am neither. I am beige and I am proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr Brown Crayon. It's not fair that Mr Brown gets all the bears, ponies and puppies while the only things I get are turkey dinners if I'm lucky. And wait, let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about colouring wheat? Your beige friend, Duncan, grey crayon here. You're killing me! I know you love elephants and I know that elephants are grey but that's a lot of space to colour in all by myself and don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things. Such big animals. Baby penguins are grey, you know, and so very tiny. Rocks, pebbles, for example. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, Grey Crayon. Dear Duncan, you colour with me, but why? Most of the time I'm the same colour as the page you are using me on. White. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to colour snow or to fill in empty space between other things and it leaves me feeling well empty we need to talk your empty friend white crayon hi Duncan I hate being used to draw the outline of things things that are coloured in by other colours all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colours of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, black crayon. Dear Duncan, as green crayon, I am writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my work. Loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs and plants. I have no problems and wish to congratulate you on 
a very successful Colouring Things Green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends, yellow crayon and orange crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the colour of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need you to tell our Orange Crayon that I am the colour of the sun. I would tell him, but we are no longer speaking. And I can prove I'm the colour of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to colour in the sun in your happy farm colouring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page 7. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brightly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true colour of the sun, yellow crayon. Dear Duncan, I see yellow crayon already talk to you. The big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the colour of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know I am clearly the colour of the sun because on Thursday you used me to colour the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper. Pages in your day at the zoo colouring book. Orange, you glad I'm here. Ha, your pal and the real colour of the sun, orange crayon. Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favourite colour this past year. And the year before, and the year before that. I really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds and clear skies. But the bad news is that I am so short and stubby I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon Duncan. Listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's colour, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your li little sister I said thank you for using me to colour in her pretty princess colouring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now back to us. Could you please use me sometime to colour the occasional pink dinosaur or monster? Or cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of colour. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. Hey Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help me, your naked friend Peach Crayon. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to colour and of course he wanted his crayons to be happy. And he gave him an idea. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him a good work sticker for colouring and a gold star for creativity. I hope you enjoyed me reading the story. Bye for now.